In today's Aircraft Explained video, we're talking about rats. No, not the ones seen running around LaGuardia Airport, but the little propeller that comes out of the side or belly of an airplane. Most, but not all, commercial aircraft have a device called a Ram Air Turbine, or RAT for short, installed. Some aircraft manufacturers refer to it as an Air Driven Generator, or ADG, but it still serves the same purpose. The main function of a RAT, or an ADG, is to serve as a backup in flight in the event of a total power loss such as a dual engine failure or an out of fuel event. During flight, in the event of all AC engine driven electrical generators stop turning or fail and the APU is not running, the rat will automatically deploy. Once fully deployed into the windstream, the airstream will spin the blades of the propeller turning a motor. There are two different types of RAT or ADG devices. In most cases, the propeller is driving a hydraulic pump that will provide pressure to the main hydraulic system, which will provide hydraulics to operate the flight controls. On most aircraft that use the RAT to spin the hydraulic motor, the hydraulic pressure will turn a separate AC electric motor to provide power to the instruments and critical systems. On some aircraft, such as the Airbus A350 and the Bombardier CRJ series, the RAT or ADG consists of an AC generator instead of a hydraulic pump like the previous RATs we talked about. This type of system still operates off the same principle of the blades windmilling in the airstream. However, it provides AC electric power for the instruments and critical systems and can power up one of the aircraft's electric hydraulic pumps to provide pressure for flight controls or alternate gear extension. The Boeing 787 is special in the fact that it has a combination of the two systems talked about above. Its RAT contains both a hydraulic pump and a separate AC electrical generator. As mentioned at the start of the video, some aircraft don't have a RAT. Such commercial aircraft as the Boeing 717, 727, 737, and the Dash 400 and older 747 series do not have the need for one. This is because of the use of mostly mechanical flight controls with control tabs, and the use of batteries and static inverters to convert DC electrical for systems that require AC electric power. For the second part of the video, we will take a look at the locations of the RAT or ADG on most of the current flying commercial passenger aircraft in the US. On the Bombardier CRJ series, the ADG is located on the right side of the aircraft's nose just aft of the radome. On the A220, the RAT is located towards the aircraft's centerline just aft of the main landing gear wheel wells. On the Airbus A320 family, which includes the 319, 320, 321, and their Neo variants, the RAT is located on the left belly fairing towards the main landing gear. On the Airbus 330-340, the RAT is located in an outboard flap fairing on the right wing. On the Airbus A350, the RAT is located in a compartment on the right side belly fairing aft of the main landing gear. On the Airbus A380, the RAT is located in a flap fairing on the inboard section of the left wing. On the Boeing 747-8, the RAT is located on the inboard leading edge of the right wing. On the Boeing 757, 767, 777, and 787, the RAT is located on the right hand belly fairing behind the wing. On the Embraer 170 and 190 series, the RAT is located on the right side of the nose. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video educational and helped answer some questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, if you have a topic you would like to see covered in a video, feel free to comment below. You can also check out the rest of the series in the Aircraft Explained playlist.